Europa League. Delighted to say that the Arsenal manager, Mikel Arteta, has been good enough to join us. Mikel, happy with another obstacle overcome? Yeah, job done. Um, it's never easy to win that many games in, in Europe. We've done it. I don't think it was um, the prettiest game that we've played, but uh, we managed to win the game. Yeah, and I guess that's another side to your team. Maybe a side that few would have seen even six months, a year ago? Yes, um, I think we had the chances, especially early in the game and at the end of the first half, uh, to, to get the game in a much comfortable position. We didn't do that. We gave them some hope and belief. Uh, we didn't control the game well enough. And in the second half, especially at the end, uh, yeah, we were a bit leggy, I think, and uh, we gave them one or two chances, but uh, we managed to, to not concede a goal, keep the clean sheet and, and win the game. Yeah, obviously you had to make changes and that will affect the flow of the game and create perhaps a, a more open game than, than most coaches would like. Yeah, we have been rotating. I think we are the team that has rotated most in Europe till today. And uh, we have to do that, first of all, because the players deserve chances and deserve minutes. And the second, because the amount of games that we play, it's impossible to, to maintain the rhythm, the intensity and players fit with this schedule. Yeah. Now, obviously, you had to think about getting the job done here and thus avoiding the two games in February. Uh, one of the guests here, Martin, was already thinking a little bit about Sunday. Were you? Are you allowed? Can you allow yourself to think about Chelsea whilst this game's happening? We have all the games and, and the fixtures in our minds to, to try to get a very competitive team all the times and win the games, which is uh, the most important thing. But um, but today was really important. Uh, we know how important it's going to be, especially when other teams are playing in February. And uh, winning helps winning. And, and today's atmosphere in that dressing room after being first is much better uh, after a win than after a loss. And, uh, and that's the focus of the team. On a couple of the individuals, Gabriel Jesus does a lot for your team, but he's just looking for that goal. I think it's uh, eight games without a goal. Does that bother you? Does that bother him? It does bother him, for sure. And uh, knowing him, when he scores two, he wants to score four. And today he had a couple of good chances as well, but what he generates uh, to the team is just uh, amazing. Last week he gave three assists. Today he was involved in a reaction again, and uh, the goals will come. Mikel. Just I wanted to say congratulations. The, the run you're on is quite magnificent. Thank How you, pleased were you for, for Kieran Tierney? Because, you know, he hasn't played as, he, as much as he wants to. He's had game involvements, we know, and he hasn't started. But his mm. performance tonight, we've given him man of the match. We thought he was outstanding. Did that really please you? I think he was. Yeah, I think he was really good. And, um, and Kieran, you know, he's showing a lot of maturity. You know, he has respected certain decisions that... Uh, that we have taken when he's played with, he's played a lot of minutes as well. Um, he's done really well today. He scored um, a great goal that uh, helped us to win the game. And uh, that's what we demand for all the players, that they are ready when the team needs them to, um, to make a difference. It suggests there's a really good atmosphere amongst the players, doesn't it? When you bring someone in like that and he comes in and, and does so well. So Absolutely. Well. And, and everybody has to be ready because we don't have the biggest squad. And, uh, and everybody's important when you see the amount of minutes that they all played. Um, it's a lot. So they have been really important. They have been important in the Europa League. They have been important in the league and they will continue to be so. So um, we need everybody involved and, and at it because at, at any moment you are needed and, and you have to contribute to the team. And with that in mind, Taki uh, Tomiyasu obviously came on and then had to go off. Do you mm. able to update us? It doesn't look great. We don't know. Obviously, he, he had some muscular issue. He had to come up. Obviously, we didn't want to take any risks and uh, we'll assess him in the next 48 hours and, and understand what's happening. OK, we really appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much, Mikel. Well done. Thank we you very will much. We'll see you in the new year. OK, thank you.